A sequence in which each term is found by adding the same number to the previous term is called an arithmetic sequence. So you can see two examples here, 5, 12, 19, uh, 26, 20, uh, 33, 40. And what's happening is each time from 5 to 12, I am adding 7. From 12 to 19, I'm adding 7. 19 to 26, I'm adding 7. 26 to 33, adding 7. 33 to 40, adding 7. And you would keep adding 7 each time. The next one, 3, then 1, uh, now I'm subtracting 2, then subtracting 2. Or you can, you can call it adding negative 2. But uh, negative 2, negative 2, subtract 2 more. And each case, I will get two lower. So the next one would be negative nine, then negative 11, then negative 13, and so on. The general nth term of an arithmetic sequence is written in the form of a sub one plus n minus one times d, where a sub one is the first term and d is the common difference. So what you're adding or subtracting each time. So for example, a sub 1 could be like a1 plus 0 times d. a sub 18 would be a1 plus 17 times d. a sub 100 is a1 plus 99 times d. For whatever the d is and for whatever your a1 is. So note that the second term of an arithmetic sequence has that add-in of 1 times d. The third term has 2 times d. The fourth term has 3 times d. The nth term has an add-in of n minus 1 times d. So we also note that the difference between any two consecutive terms is going to be that d. So you're going to be adding and subtracting the same amount between any two terms. So for example, an arithmetic sequence has a first term of 5, so that tells me that a1 is equal to 5, and a common difference 4. So write out the first five terms and of the sequence and then find the 25th term. Well, we know the first one, a1 is 5. a2 would be basically 5 plus 4, which is 9. a3 would be 9 plus 4, so 13. a4 would be 13 plus 4, so 17. Now, the general nth term would be, we start with 5, and we'll do n minus 1 times 4. So in this case, if I want to find the 25th term, that would be 5 plus 25 minus 1 times 4. So 5 plus 24, which is 5 plus 96, and that comes out to be 101. So the 25th term would be 101. Let's say the first three terms are 3, 8, and 13. So a1 is 3, a2, a sub 2 is 8, and a sub 3 is 13. And notice that the difference would be 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 5 is 13. All right, so that means our general term, a sub n, is going to be, I start with 3, plus n minus 1 times 5. I know that has to equal to, well, I want to figure out the term that comes out to be 453. So I'll set the general term equal to 453. And now I just want to figure out what is n. So I can subtract 3 from both sides. I'll have n minus 1 times 5 is equal to 450. Then divide by 5 on both sides. So n minus 1 is equal to... 450 divided by 5 would be 90. And then n is, you add 1 to both sides, and we end up with n equals 91. So that means this is going to be the 91st term. So based on this sequence, the 91st term comes out to be 453.